guys want to see the, um, no, I should show you the, the schematic first. Show the implementation now because it's so boring that you don't want to lose. Is, you, you, you hook, oh, them. You hook them with the, the schematic. I was oh, voting so for the schematic. We're, so we're stuck. No, 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 no. You hook them with the schematic because that's the exciting part. Okay, you're and just show them the boring as shit part now. You're the guest, so you get to pick. <laughs> okay, so here's my spare room. Here's the laundry room. Can you guys see this? Yep. Okay. I'm, I I I don't have. I I can't see what's going on on the camera, so I'm pointing you're things. Sh you're showing the MPP. Yeah. That's the MPP. It's got a screen on it. Does that work? Yeah, yeah that's it's sexy. green. You can see it's in bypass right now. Nope, if I can't. turn off power, check this out. I can turn off power. Um, so I'm turning off house power. And it's switched over. That fast. That fast. No Damn. power break. Power back on. Into bypass. And it'll probably click on a little bit because it used a tiny bit of battery. Yeah, the family. And then room. the battery, here's the plugs, right? So those just go to various places in the house. And then there's the um, the battery, which is super sexy, um, and it's got it's got Handles. Ethernet cable ports that do something. I don't know what they are, um, and it's got it's got lights on it that flash, and they kind of <coughs> relate to the reality of the situation. Um, but this would be super easy to get more batteries and put them in here and add it to the system if I wanted to. In parallel. In parallel. What's up with the with the Ethernet cables? You maybe hook that to a router and it can communicate with that company, almost like a Generac does. Or is that know. just simply for powering uh, Ethernet equipment? You got a you got a RTM RTFM that one. Yeah, read the fucking manual. Yeah, there's there's a lot of stuff that people like Jim could use that I don't think I ever want to touch. Oh, the MPP also comes with two USB. And a USB C port. So for charging? For charging your shit. So fancy. It's so fancy. Of course, I've got everything hooked up to these things, which are what are these things called? Um, Danger boxes. No, this is a uh, uh, um, surge protector, not okay. just a power strip surge protector. I'm going to walk you to the other implementation part that you kind of have to see. There's a you hairless see this? this is my shelf. And uh -huh. the shelf opens now. Oh, I just had a moment. And there's all my stuff. Right? I can't stand that's up all, right now. That's so much of it. I was going to hide all these wires, but I realized that I just do this. Just be yourself. I really so like the that shelf. Are, the wires are hit. I'm just so happy with that, Jim. Yep. I, we came up with that idea and it was like, uh, this has to be done. We did it it's a so week badass. later. Thank you. Uh, and it also gets a lot of fun. Uh, access to the back of the tank in ways I didn't have before. Uh, plus, there's... Is he breaking up for you, Ben? Yeah, he is. Breaking <laughs> up is hard to do. You got some You got some interference in there. Yeah. Is that... Can you hear me again? Yes. Yeah, we hear you. Okay. When you're, when you're in this. the closet, you're, you're silent. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> but you can clown. see this. You can hear yes. me while I'm listening to this. Yeah. All right. Ish. This is the energy bar on the battery circuit. This is the one on T2. So I'm like adding circuits and labels to everything so I know how it's all connected. Yeah. Um, I can come back now. It's, that's just the important thing to see. That, no, that, that's super cool. Um, and I'm not the apex itself to trigger the problem. I mean, to trigger the power saving modes or to, to yeah, to detect power outage. I'm not right. using the apex to do it because the apex my system is so distributed the aquabus cables need power and if the apex is not getting power i don't i can't get enough power throughout the apex aquabus system to keep everything running are so, you using eba32 ah i don't even know ahead. what the hell that means eba32 yeah yes. you're using an eba32 to tell that your power's out yes okay. so the two options with the apex the head yeah. unit can detect the power outage or an EBA 32. So this EBA 32 dies, so it's perfect. It dies in a power outage, and yeah. only this one comes on. Also, I got these things much better than 
um, a DJ power strip. This is a surge protector protected with switched outlets. Um, and that just makes me very excited. Notice so his the, cable management with the hair clips. I like that. Yeah, Garble turned me on to these. These are the best things that exist ever. That's genius. So, so easy. And, and the light goes off when I close it. Um, let me show you the schematic because th this is the schematic is super nerdy. You're going to get a, a nerd boner. So I was wrong. Oh, yeah. The I was schematic. wrong because the, the fancy shelving unit that swings out, it got me there. Oh, right? I got gotcha. you. Yeah. Yeah. That's pretty yep. exciting. I didn't know. You didn't know. No, here, exactly. Here is my, here's the battery schematic. The reds here are circuits. So I have five circuits plus the batteries. Is that true? Yes. Yeah, there's a four, circuit that feeds Four plus the, one? Lab one, lab one, B1. B1 is, yeah, 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 five. Yep. Five. Yes, that is correct. And uh, it's just a schematic. Uh, the sky is here because uh, we'll, we'll get to that in just a sec. Um, the sky is connected to this circuit, and I don't like to know that. But the apex is where everything kind of happens. So the MPP and the battery are here, and they are connected to nothing on the apex. They just power things. The apex isn't doing anything to them. Everything goes through, <laughs> you know, a surge protector. And then they go to one links because a one link is a really good way for me uh, to power the wave pumps um, in one place, right? So uh, it becomes, it, it's just, uh, they're going to make fun of me on the Discord. This is crazy, but it's actually pretty simple. Simple. <laughs> it would have been amazing to see what it was if you had done a, uh, an as found, this being your as left. It would have been yeah. pretty sweet to de spaghetti what you had. Yeah. I can't even imagine. <laughs> I don't know that that would have been possible. But that can live in space and time. In space and time in our brain. So you can see the surge protector here, surge protector here. These three surge protectors are connected straight to the MPP. And that's where those the apex goes, uses, I mean, the surge protectors are then plugged into apex stuff. And that stuff makes all of these things go. Nice. All of these pumps and stuff go. Uh, so it's nice. Now, because I was doing this, I also did a schematic. It's I'm not sure how detailed I'm going to get with this, but I'm trying to break down everything that's connected to the Apex system. So this is on the display Apex. This is all the stuff that's not connected to battery. The red are actual outlets on the EB-832s, and all the orange stuff is modules or probes. I may go color code those as well to make it kind of fun. And I may do an actual um, line schematic for what is actually plugged into what. Hmm. I don't know if I'm going to do that, though, because with the Apex, it kind of doesn't matter. But for somebody who is going to come and troubleshoot my system when I'm gone, knowing what's plugged into what could be helpful if they have to do something extreme. Yeah. Um, and then the this is like a more normal system. This is the lab, um, the lab apex, which doesn't have all that much on it. So this is just a lot easier to understand. Can you tell me about alert light? The alert blue one lights. that you saw? I saw alert light right there. Oh, uh, here. Yeah. That alert light just tells me when my skim mate reservoir is full. Okay. And I put it on the battery backup system because there was an open outlet there because there's a lot of open outlets on there because there's not much going on and in a power outage that just goes off although it's pulling a like a, it's meh, 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 power outage no, did you, you know, meh, to, meh, meh. did you mean to misspell light I yes was just i did i did because i like to see who, who's the asshole who points that kind of shit out <laughs> me um in my talks there's always one intentional misspelling and it was only Jake Adams was the only one who used to get them. And then it's only been recently a few people have started saying something about it, which I think is pretty funny. Jake uh, possessed me for a second. We had lots of alert lights at the Academy and alert sounds. Mm. And I used to use a lot of alerts with the Apex, but they just become annoying. 
I, I, I th the, the only alert that I really want a, a, a blinking light for is something to remind me to take action right now. Yep. Otherwise, I just get a text on my phone to check something. And that's that's easier for me than having you call that dark, things. dark cockpit. Only tell me what I need to know. Dark cockpit. Right. You know, if you have an alert every time your pH in your reactor drops below 6.5, you're going to kill yourself. Right. Like email alerts. Turn that shit off. Turn that shit off. You only need it in one place. So that's that's my system.